So I wanted to make this video, not because I think everybody should try this diet. In fact, I think very few people would enjoy it, let alone get results, but it should spark something in you that says, okay, I haven't pushed it in a while. Maybe I should crank it up and see if I can make even more progress. As corny as the word is, I'm a huge fan of trying to biohack your body, get even more out of it and really optimize, especially when it comes to diet. But at the end of the day, that's just trial and error because even if you had access to every food allergy test, you can constantly monitor your blood glucose levels, you're still just throwing shit at the wall and see if it sticks. And I think the reason more people don't try to test and optimize their diet is they're scared of losing muscle. And being somebody that's lost muscle a few times in their life, it's not that hard to get it back. For instance, last year I did a half Ironman. Now, I did get disqualified because apparently you can't seek out the person with the biggest ass and draft behind him, but I did learn something. First thing I learned is when you train like that, you're gonna lose a shitload of muscle. But even more important than that, it took me less than two months to get back to where I was when I started and really opened me up and freed me from that scarcity of, oh my God, I got hold on every little ounce of muscle or I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. And really what that did is gave me the green light to push my body even further or try to biohack even more. So four days a week, I do a 21 hour fast, three hour window. The other three days, I just carb load like crazy. Now, does that make sense? No, but that's the fucking point. Let me tell you my thought process behind it so you don't think I'm out of my mind. I've done intermittent fasting before, works incredibly well, two major flaws. First one, at least for me, at a certain body fat percentage, I get stuck. About 9%, I don't get any lower, and I just hover there. For me, that's no way to live life. I'm big on progress, that sucked. The second, which is even more important for me, is you're not able to maintain as much muscle mass. And you end up getting this athletic build. And if I wanna look like a swimmer, I'd fucking swim. Hence why I'm putting those refeed days in between. Now, will this work forever? No clue, it's worked this far, but I'm sure there's gonna be some fatal flaw in it, or over time my body will adapt and I'll have to change it because your body's a tricky bitch. My suggestion to you is continue to test because no one's gonna be able to figure out your body better than you. If you want more information on how I do my intermittent fasting, I'll link to a video, also another one of my favorites. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as always, get after you get growing. Talk to you soon. One more thing. It's come to my attention, I've reached that point in my YouTube career that other people started making videos on me, which I'm all for. I just, I'll never make a dedicated video about somebody else because to me, I don't wanna be known for that. I wanna be known for helping people and not talking shit. Although, I'd be really good at it. To me, using somebody else's name to trick the algorithm is like the YouTube version of a reach round. I'm not against it, but I'm not gonna be doing it. But if you happen to be scrolling through my description where you find a link to a site where you can buy a bag of dicks and you know where to send it, not gonna stop you. <laughs>